Welcome to today's presentation entitled ORCID Trusted Parties Functionalities. My name is Jacob White. I'm a Welch Medical Library Informationist, and my pronouns are he, his. Today we are going to cover linking your ORCID ID to trusted parties. One big benefit to having an ORCID ID is the automated record update feature. If you share your ORCID ID with your publisher, the information about your new article will be added to your ORCID when it gets published via the Crossref service. This way, you do not have to go into your ORCID account and update every time you have a new publication. If you use your ORCID record to share your publications on a departmental website or a personal website, this new information will automatically appear on those pages as well. This is an example of how a works entry looks when it has been automatically added using Crossref. It will say source Crossref. Another vendor account you can link your ORCID record to is the Web of Science Researcher ID. If you track your peer review contributions using Researcher ID, you can add that information to your ORCID. This is a step-by-step -step process for linking your Web of Science and ORCID ID data. You will need to start on the Web of Science homepage, accessed by the Welsh Library website. Start out by creating your Web of Science account and creating your researcher profile. You have to push the Open Menu button in the top left corner of the Web of Science homepage in order to access your profile. There are many filters to select from, to help filter and locate your data. You can filter by institution, for example, to make it easier to find your articles. If you have already added publications to your ORCID ID, you can skip this part because syncing between your Web of Science Researcher account and your ORCID ID account goes both directions. Once you have found your publications, you can connect them to your ORCID record as well using the ORCID syncing tab in your Web of Science profile settings. This step will go most smoothly if you are already logged into your ORCID record in the background, preferably through the Johns Hopkins ORCID registry. If you would like to automatically sync ORCID and Web of Science Researcher ID, turn all of the switches on the ORCID syncing tab to on this will lead to the ORCID Authorize Access page. And from there, you will give permission to ORCID and Web of Science to read and write into each other's records. Similar to Crossref, when Web of Science identifies a new record affiliated with your ORCID ID, it will add it automatically to your work section in your Web of Science Researcher ID as well as in your ORCID. Another tool you can use is the Scopus Author ID Scopus Elsevier Linker. If your Author ID in Scopus is already set up, it will be very easy to import works. Follow the steps in the Scopus ORCID workflow to find your publications in Scopus and link them to your ORCID. If you have not set up an or a Scopus Author ID in the past, this step will also help to disambiguate the information in that author profile as well. When you add a work to your ORCID record using the Scopus search and link functionality, it will say added by you via Scopus Elsevier. This brings us to the end of our presentation about trusted parties in ORCID. Thank you very much for your time and attention please reach out to us at the email addresses or contact information on this slide if you have any questions.